To use EasyBIP, the first thing you need to do is choose the correct type of source. You might have used a website, a book, a database, or some other option. To cite a website, first of all, make sure that this tab is clicked, Website. Then find the website that you used. For example, this website from Canadian Geographic about cougars. Copy the address from the URL line, paste it into EasyBib, and click Cite This. EasyBib will now look for this website and properly format the citation. They have found the article title, the website title, and the date you accessed it, as well as the URL. You might want to type in the publisher sponsor, which would be Canadian Geographic, and you might also want to type in the author's name. Once you've done that, click Create Citation, and you will see that this site is now properly formatted. You might have also used a book in your project. Click on Book, and then find the book. If you have it in your hand, you can just use the ISBN number, but if it's a book that you no longer have, you can just find it in the library. For example, you might have used this book called Cougars. You then copy the ISBN number, and then you paste it into this line in EasyBib. EasyBib will now look for this book, and they have found it. When you make sure it's the correct book, click Select, and you will see that they have found the author, the title, the publisher, the city, and the year. Click Create Citation, and EasyBib will properly format this for you. And there you have it. You now have two things in your bibliography, your book and your website. Normally you would have many more things, but for the purposes of demonstration, let's assume we're finished. Once you have all of the different items that you have used for your research, you can make sure they're sorted properly. We would like to sort them in alphabetical order, which is the default, so that's how they would sort them for you. And then you click Export or Print. Print as a Word document. Click here to download. Open up your document and there it is. Uh, if you want to add anything to this, click Enable Editing. And from here you can add your name or change the font or whatever you need to do and print it out. One more thing I would like to show you and that is that if you if you used um, an article from an uh, encyclopedia, for example, from World Book, if you use this article about mountain lions and want to cite it, an easy way to do that is to go to the very end of the article and you will see that they have a section on how to cite this article. We always use the MLA format, so all you need to do is copy this and then paste it onto your Word document. You there now have a completed work cited. Thank you very much for listening.